Well, this vlog has broken into three acts. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. This is the final vlog that I'll be doing in uh, the first season of Spirit Soul Body. Vlog number 38. And in this first part of this vlog, I'll deal with yesterday. Yesterday, indicative of the last three, four months. Yesterday, indicative of the last three, four years. And I think, in many respects, yesterday in the last 53 years of my life. With this season one of Spirit Soul Body Vlog finishing today, Carol and I need a little bit of time just to recuperate, obviously, and to continue with the family through the process of mourning and reconciling uh, the graduation of my dear father-in-law and dear friend, Walter. My whole life has stopped pretty much for the last three, four months. Indeed, so has Carola's, so to speak, as we've supported the family here in the Salzburg region. And it's been a joy in many respects. One thing I can tell you is, is that when you go through these types of trials and challenges, um, many things worked out for the benefit of individuals and the family as a whole. Um, and I think in some ways, Walter's prolonged battle and then the way when he made his decision finally, because some of you are saying, that, you know, Rory, one minute, one minute we were all standing in faith with you, believing for Walter's recovery, and then the next moment, your next vlog is a is a, is a is you sharing your condolences at Walter's funeral. And I think that let me try and bridge the gap between those two events, those two vlogs, vlog number 35 and vlog number 36, if I've got my numbers right. No, 36 and 37. And um, you know. Something's happened in the final days that caused for Walter to make a decision that he he had reconciled some critical issues that he needed to address before he felt at peace to graduate. I think that was one aspect. And so there were things that happened in the last week of Walter's life here on Earth that really... Um, no, profound things and I'm it's 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 no one else's business and it's not mine to share but I can tell you this that it was a a very important process and again I can only thank you guys for journeying with Carola and I and with Lizanne and the family for standing with and fighting for Walter it was um it was all God if I can say that from my beliefs perspective, it was all God. It was all, it was all in the plan. He uh, dealt with some issues and then felt completely released that he he was now ready to to graduate. He was ready to to give up the battle. Give up is not even the right word. Walter never gave up. It's just I personally believe that we have the right to choose whether we graduate or go. Um, not that we can take our lives, that's not what I'm talking about. What I am saying is that we as individuals choose to either fight or we choose to resign ourselves that this season's finished. And, um, and this is something that very much happened in the last uh, days of Walter's life. He, a peace came on him, not that he was not peaceful, Walter was always full of the, the fruits of the Holy Ghost in the last three months. I mean, what a trial, what challenges, what physical discomfort he was going through. And yet the fruit of the Spirit was always prevalent. You know, he was patient, generally speaking. He was always appreciative, loving, a soft word. And, and again, what he had to endure through those final months is, was very uncomfortable. But... Um, it was this last week that Walter said to us, I'm ready. 
it's it's fine there was a peace on him he was singing in the holy ghost he was praying by the spirit for those of you guys who don't know what that means he was just he was just full of 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 peace and he was with the father and of course it doesn't make sense the last week was easy it wasn't we had our challenges but finally as i may have shared walter fell asleep and passed left his body behind which as you saw in my last vlog we <clears throat> with with sadness but also with a joy unspeakable um, we buried Walter's body and so that was yesterday the last 37 vlogs that I've done and again I can only thank you guys for watching and for your for your support and your prayers and everything else the last 36 vlogs was a, f a, a preparation time for me Rory Alec the media man called by God an apostolic prophetic media ministry the calling has never changed and the yesterday this first chapter of this vlog addressing the past when Walter graduated to heaven something broke in the last two weeks in my spirit and I got a clear and resounding Rory it's time and my spirit exploded so even in all of this challenge and this drama and of course the passing of my dear friend Walter I personally believe the Holy Spirit has given me a release which I've been waiting for for four or five years that it's time so the vlog spirit soul body has been pieces of my life it's been a piece of my week sharing a little bit with you guys of of what's happened in that week but in all this time as a visionary I've been going Lord what's the next plan what's 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 the next step what do you have for me to do I'm very excited just want to check the camera it's working so <clears throat> with that we finish season one of spirit soul body uh, this one will be the last vlog until November the 18th November the 18th I start the next season of spirit soul body in season two I have no doubt it's a new season for me and it's a season of clear vision uh, clear direction um, and I'm excited I am so excited and so Carol and I go back to the normal rhythm of life get ready for her next year at the university where she's a senior lecturer and uh, of course I will start to share in great detail what I'm feeling by faith is the next steps for me and what the next steps are for the media platform and the vision so tomorrow is looking beautiful tomorrow's looking exciting and I want to encourage you it doesn't it it really doesn't matter what the weather is if you are standing on the rock whether it's a beautiful day or whether it's a, a very foggy gray damp cold day I can only tell you this that God is faithful and if you lean on him he is completely faithful to sustain you and to keep you and I think that's the thing where the whole family is right now um, we're trusting in God and God is faithful this last week there's been tears there's been laughter a whole bunch of sorting out oh my goodness me uh, it's quite an extraordinary thing when you have to reposition uh, someone from the past into the future as we are supporting Walter's wife Lizanne uh, it's just um, lots of things to sort lots of things to take care of so for many of you who have lost a loved one and you've had to uh, then go through the process of reconciling things <clears throat> you know what I'm talking about so yesterday is yesterday I can't change yesterday but I most certainly can learn from my yesterdays and today is what I have to become um, what I'm dreaming about and what I'm believing for what I'm hoping for today is the day that I can be that support and that friend today is the day that I can love my wife in a deeper more meaningful way and then tomorrow comes and tomorrow is made up entirely of what we plant in terms of seeds in today 
determines what our tomorrow looks like. And so I encourage you as I'm talking to myself, you know, let's make it work. Let's sow the right seeds. Let's trust God and let's boldly move into into tomorrow. I think very much for the family, we are now having to reconcile the loss of a great man. And continue praying for us if you if you have it in your heart and your spirit. We appreciate it very much. I think physically we're all very exhausted. But, but, this is life and, and this is how life goes. It's extremely enriching. As painful as it is and as as hearts are hurting in some respects, there's, there is this undergirding joy that is unwavering. It doesn't shift. It's just there. It's it's a strength. It's a it's a containment. It's a protection. This joy is life preserving. Walter's favorite time of the year was autumn. And I find it very interesting that Walter decided to take graduation and God decided to honor his request. And um, he's having a wonderful time in heaven, I have no doubt about that. Reconciling with loved ones that passed many years before him. We here in the Northern Hemisphere are going into a season of, of winter. A time to refocus, reevaluate, to reposition, to, yeah. Regroup, strengthen. And then spring comes, and I think that's the thing that's so beautiful, so encouraging. And I, I'm grateful that we have these seasons in our lives. Anyway, I am pontificating, as my father would say. You are pontificating. I just wanted to take this final vlog at the end of the season as I walk through the fog and the mists in the in the woods here in Salzburg in Austria and just say to you thank you for this first 37 38 vlogs thank you for your support thank you for your prayers for your encouragement and we're going to take a three-week break now on the vlog but I know that God has said in this next season looking in the future that it's time for me personally Rory what's happening with you I am coming through a process and I will, in the next season, the second season of Spirit Soul Body Vlogs, you're going to hear so much vision. I am so pregnant with vision. And I am now, finally, for my impatient self, finally I have the release of the Spirit to go ahead and start. To start in this next season of my life. So, I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to sharing with you guys in great depth. Don't miss it. November the 18th, I will be back. So season two is gonna be sharing lots of vision. And there's two ways that you can get behind this next stage if the Lord puts it on your heart and if you're excited about it, or if you just like me and you say, hey Rory, I enjoy your vlogs. I like what you're saying, I like what you're doing. Check out our patron page because that's gonna be one of the main ways that people can support the growing of the channel. And finally, I'm launching the new shop, which I'm very excited about. And that shop and the patron page is going to be the primary way that I'm going to fund the growing of this new media platform. Never give up. We are all going through trials in some way, shape or form. And some are more life-threatening and others are just mind-numbingly painful. And then there are others of us at the moment, we're right on the top of the mountain. God has got us in a place where we're soaring even. Trust Him. And if you don't know Him, seek Him, find Him. And uh, I tell you something, good things are ahead. Good things are ahead. Thank you for being with me on season one. I'll be back on the 18th of November with the next vlog. So from me, Rory Alec, love you guys. Ciao, ciao.